hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back and i'm back to stay um i've actually just been living my life and i've basically neglected youtube just basically pushed it to the curb not been online but that's all about to change because i get so many people messaging me all the time like why don't you do holiday vlogs? Why don't you do like daily vlogs? Why don't you do like your makeup routine? Why don't you show us like your apartment? Why don't you just show us when you're out having a good time with your friends? And I thought to myself, you're right, why don't I actually do that? So I've decided now that I'm going to be consistent on YouTube and upload different types of vlogs for you guys. I'm actually gonna vlog my trips when I go away. I'm gonna vlog when I'm with my friends, just weekly and daily vlogs, like when like celebrate my friends' birthdays. I don't know, you name it, I'm gonna vlog because I've also realized when I do these things, I'll have footage for myself and I'll be able to look back and actually watch these videos and be like, oh my God, that was such a good time. So it's a kind of like a win-win situation. So I'm back and I'm back to stay. So my first video is going to be, you know, a chit chat, get ready with me. Well, chit chat, you do my makeup and basically catch up with you guys and talk to, talk about like anything that's new, anything that's been going on recently. I don't know if my if this image will be tilted just because my camera is broken and it's actually on its last legs i need to basically take it in so it can get repaired i just haven't found the time to do that so i'm gonna do that sometime this week but um i'm here and i'm excited to be back so just let me know what you guys want to see in the in the comments let me know what you guys want to see from me what type of videos you think i should be doing and whatnot so yeah let's get started and this is a get ready with me just quickly this robe and this hairband like makeup band is from the makeup robe my friend alicia actually just launched a new brand and it's actually a robe so you could actually do your makeup in and get ready without like getting dirty because a lot of the robes i have are white and they get so dirty when i'm doing my makeup and whatnot so i love it and i just love this hairband it just makes so much sense throughout this video i'm not gonna like talk step by step what i'm doing because like i don't think i'm like a makeup pro artist but like a lot of people just ask what i use what products i've been loving and whatnot so uh, within this video i'm gonna show you guys my favorite products that i've been loving for makeup and yeah what i recommend and i'll link everything below but yeah i'm so excited to be back guys thanks for being patient with me and yeah we're here to stay so starting up i'm firstly before i start i've been using these pore pore blenders and they are absolutely amazing um influencer talk about these pore pore beauty blenders and i absolutely have been like you can tell I've been using this all week. I only got this package about two weeks ago. And this is what the packet looks like. These beauty blenders are like the best thing ever. It's called Paw Paw. I've ordered these on Amazon. And oh my god, when I heard the girl talk about them, I thought like I felt like she was over exaggerating on, on a beauty blender, but she actually wasn't. It's first things first. I've been loving this Laura Mercier primer. It's absolutely amazing. Also, look at my nails. Joe did them for me like last week. I love them. I've gone for like a chrome tip. Show you if you can see. But yeah, absolutely love them. But I've I've been using this primer a lot, and also the YSL one. I absolutely love the YSL one. I feel like the YSL one is has been a favor of mine for years. But um, if I keep looking over here, it's just because I'm looking at my mirror. But I also love this Laura Mercier one, just because it feels like a hydrating cream as well. Like when I'm on holiday, sometimes. On I just have a tiny bit of makeup on like i just want to do i don't know like a bit of blush or add just a bit of glow to my face like highlighter this laura mercy i just use it as cream it's so good and it's so hydrating love it love it love it oh i've been on so many holidays this year and it's always the unplanned ones that are the best ones in my head like i just love the holidays that i don't actually what's it called plan for the ones that are last minute the ones that you just never see coming they're the best ones but um yeah i've had a great summer september now my birthday's next month i hate 
birthdays now like I actually hate birthdays and I think it's because I'm getting older guys like I'm actually about to turn 25 and I want to cry like I want to cry sometimes I sit here and I think oh my god I haven't achieved anything haven't done anything but I actually have like when I look back like move that into my own apartment have my business literally about to drop a winter collection I've been working but sometimes you just I feel like when you get to, what well, me personally when I get to a goal I just feel like I've done it now, what now? Like, I never actually celebrate my wins, which is really bad. I feel like we need to get into the habit of actually celebrating our wins because we're doing well. Like, we're actually doing well. We have to look about, we have to look at how far we've actually come and understand that, you know, girl, you once, like, dreamed about having your own place or, girl, you once dreamed about having your own business or you once dreamed about getting that degree and you have it now. So I feel like it's so important. Us as humans, we actually don't congratulate ourselves enough without like without sounding big-headed or like not being humble like actually being like okay i've actually done this and i should be proud of myself we're always on to what's next what's next what's next what's next so yeah i after this video i think i'm gonna do like an apartment tour but the only reason why i haven't done that is because i'm actually revamping my apartment and i've ordered so much and i just kind of want to show you when it's ready so i always start with my brows when i go in and i've been loving the refi eyebrow pencil if this camera wants to focus today hello can you focus on me <laughs> can you focus can you focus game changer i absolutely absolute game changer my eyebrows i'm kind of letting them grow out at the moment just because last time i did them the women did them so thin to the point where I literally wanted to cry. I actually wanted to cry. And it's my fault though because my actual lady that usually does my eyebrows wasn't there. She's actually on maternity leave. So, and I didn't know. Like, I know I knew she was pregnant, but I just didn't know when she would be coming off work because then I would have actually gone and done my eyebrows. So now I've actually had to let my eyebrows grow out a bit. And I hate this because when I get to, when I go to do my makeup, when I'm going out, it just feels like they're so messy, but I guess, what can I do? What can I do, guys? I, get, I mean, they'll grow back, which is the important thing. So I just love this refined pencil. Honestly, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I've been wanting to um, laminate my eyebrows for so long, but last time I did it, I didn't really like it. Like, I just didn't enjoy it at all. And I just feel like it ruined my eyebrows in a way. Like, I felt like I lost a lot of hair in a strange, strange way. I felt like I lost so much hair. Here we are with the thick eyebrows. Next step is concealer. Hold on, I'm opening the window a bit because it's just so hot. My apartment is probably the hottest place in the planet because I'm always, I literally have to sleep basically naked because otherwise I wake up with my hair so frizzy because it's that hot at night when I'm sleeping it's literally that hot so next is concealer I have been living for this L'Oreal concealer absolutely love it and this is in the shade 320 I've been using this concealer for like I'd say the last four or five months it looks really white when you put it on, but it literally just, it really defines my eyebrows. Concealer, so I literally mix this one with a Laura Mercier one, Laura Mercier one, which I'll show you guys in a second. But like I mentioned, like I'm not a pro makeup artist. My makeup is pretty much the same every time I go out. Like I don't change it up unless I'm getting my makeup done professionally. Because I genuinely prefer my face without makeup. Like, I genuinely prefer when I'm tanned, just a bit of concealer, just a bit of blush, that much. Like, I don't really like too much on my face. So you'll never actually see me be different and try... Well, I want to, to just learn how to do makeup, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just to define this whole eye. I've been trying all the lights to see what one looks best for this video and no light looks the best. 
just feel like when I don't use the light, it just looks better, like clearer. But we'll figure out when I'm <laughs> editing the video. I thought I would jump on here and do like a talk, get ready with me and catch up with you guys and see how everyone's doing. But yeah, like I mentioned, I love this concealer. And of course, guys, I'm not a pro makeup artist. Like, I don't sit there and advise my friends on, like, how they should do their makeup. My friends probably advise me. But the way I do my makeup works for me. And that's, you know, I feel like once you figure out how you like your makeup, that's the main thing. That is the main thing. Next, we're going with the Refi. I don't, I don't actually know what this is called, but it's the eyebrow, I, wax, is it like wax? Like, basically to have your eyebrows look like they've been laminated. I absolutely love this product too. She's really smashed it, Jess Hunt, with Refi. Like, honestly, like, what a game changer. What a great business idea. And like the best person to do it would have been her because her eyebrows are to die for. Absolutely incredible. I love seeing like hard working women like achieve things and like look you can pull it out and it's like a little brush. I just love seeing women achieve things because I just we need to be it's a woman's world men just live in it we just always i just feel inspired every time i see a woman achieve something it's just incredible absolutely incredible next we're gonna go in with the ysl foundation i actually got sent this two weeks ago and wow wow i and the thing is i didn't know i have never used the ysl foundation and they have this thing on their website where you can like find out your match like for your questionnaire and I did it and it literally seems to match perfectly I wouldn't say this is full coverage I'd say this is like medium coverage like I go in quite a bit or sometimes on a night out I would mix this with the Huda Beauty one because my Huda Beauty one is just full coverage and it's amazing um but I also have been loving this one because I'm not doing a lot today I just thought minimal not too much not too not such a heavy base so i'm gonna go in with this ysl foundation and yes i literally tend to do this first Ooh. my forehead is so much darker than my actual face this pore pore beauty blender let me see if you guys can see it oh. it's just amazing wow what a beauty blender what a beauty blender guys i've already wet it before as well guys sorry i forgot to mention i wet it before i started this video the beauty blenders i use are good but i feel like this one's the best one because it doesn't soak up the foundation like i just find sometimes that my beauty blenders will soak up my foundation. Sorry, I actually put too much concealer on, so my eye is quite white. Oh, hey, is this foundation and this beauty blender together? I feel like this year, guys, has been a year of just figuring me out, like figuring out what I actually want in life my goals my dreams my aspirations like the actual long-term ones and i've realized that it's probably been my loneliest year as well like this year like ever since i've moved into my own apartment i've literally been the loneliest you could possibly imagine and i thought that you know i'd get my own apartment and hate my own company because i'd be by myself and guess what it's actually the other way around i absolutely love it like i just love being alone like i kind of hate people in my space apart from like my friends and stuff but like and my family members but like i genuinely love my own company like i actually don't mind being alone like sometimes i'll make plans with my friends and then i'll have my friend text me like oh i can't actually make today and i'm just like wow like before i'd be like 
scared to be alone and now like it's all right it's not the worst thing ever so i'm just going under my eye a bit because it's still a bit white and yeah i've just i've just been enjoying my own space so much more than i thought i used to be one of those people that couldn't be alone and now it's, I love it like I actually love it I feel like you figure out what you truly like you spend so much time with yourself like the amount of films I've watched by myself the amount of books and journaling that I do by myself thinking I mean sometimes it can get lonely don't get it twisted like I don't sit here and um love it like of course oh, no I mean I don't sit here and pray that that's my life forever like of course not it would be nice to have company from time to time but I actually have fell in love with my own company and I felt like that was one of my goals to for that to happen, you know what I mean? Like I needed to spend time by myself so that I could realise that my, import, my, my company is something that I'm always gonna have, if that makes sense. Like no matter what, in this world, like you will always have your own back, like yourself. So I kind of just, been enjoying that so i just always put concealer on the bottom of my nose just because i feel like my foundation wears out there a lot for some reason like i sweat on my nose a lot throughout the day so it wears out a lot here so i'm just gonna yeah dab that in with my concealer and then go over with my beauty blender i fell in love with my own company and it's the best thing ever I've also felt very lonely this year. I felt like this year was like a very a year I owe like a year like I owe to myself. Like I felt like I owe like I this year I had to tell myself that you need to know your worth. Like the last couple of years I've not really realized my worth. I've really just been spending quality time with myself. Like I go to, a, to my spa a lot and just go there go to the sauna then chill by the jacuzzi and just read and i just love it it's just so good and i've been focusing on my brand a lot so much because i felt like i felt like basically i planned for my brand and like designed everything and thought of like how i wanted to do it all throughout covid i really spent hours hours like looking for manufacturers going back and forth with designs going back and forth with manufacturers like not like throughout the whole of covid and i launched last year and i felt like because i was going through so much at the time i was launching like a lot of personal stuff like my own personal brick like i was just going through a phase last year just before i launched i thought i was no i thought i'm actually gonna i think i was depressed at that time like i felt like I was going through something that I couldn't explain. Like, I didn't want to wake up in the morning. I didn't want to... I don't know. I was just a very negative Nancy. Like, I was so negative. And I just basically neglected my brand. And just thought, like, you know what? Like, I spent so many, like, so many months and years planning this. And I don't... Like, at the time of my launch, I was super duper scared. Like, I kept pushing, like, the date of the launch. Like literally all my friends were like yasmin you've got a drop soon and i'd be like yeah next week i went from many meaning to drop in july to august just because also i had to like wait for some bits to like be finalized and stuff but like i was just so scared but i also felt so re like really low in life like i just felt really low at a point in life where i should have been feeling so happy and excited about this new journey of mine but i was actually going through it like in my brain like i was uh, visiting old situations in my brain that made me really unhappy i needed i wanted closure on certain situations that i never got so that was on my mind a lot and i just i had to had like like a meeting with myself like you know when you sit yourself down and you prep yourself and you're like listen if you don't get your head together and just push and put all this negative energy into something positive you're going to be in this space for a long time and it's not nothing that can get resolved like right now so you even need to get it together or just be sad and do nothing about your sadness so then eventually i ended up launching and within obviously still when i've launched i'm like not in the best headspace 
and it ended up being like the best thing I had done that year because the reception I got from it, like the reviews, my friends supporting it, you guys supporting it, meant the world to me and it reminded me that like the world is actually your oyster and your hard work does not go unnoticed. Like when you spend your time doing something, like people ain't going, like if you literally upload a YouTube video or I don't know, an Instagram picture or whatever it may be, if you're consistent in something, it never goes unnoticed. Like people eventually are gonna take you in and I don't know, like I just felt like people i don't know i just felt like no one would support and all these things but it was the best thing ever like i loved it and now i'm working on my winter collection and i'm so excited but i feel like new beginnings are always scary you know what i mean like they're super duper scary but it's the best thing i ever did with my brand and i feel like it like gave me purpose in life again like gave me felt me like i felt like i was working towards something it felt like you know i'm gonna achieve something here and i'm going to smash it like you know what i mean so yeah it's been a rough journey but desire collections winter collection you guys ain't ready because i am um, i can't even believe i've thought of all of this and i can't believe i've actually sat there planned this and executed on it received my first couple of samples and we are planning to launch November. So I literally have two months to get all my stuff together. Like the shoot, everything. Like I, it's, I'm re Before I drop as well, I'm gonna rebrand. So everyone's going to be like, what is going on? I'm rebranding, like not changing the name or anything, but just changing up the logo and my Instagram page. Just cause I feel like where I was in my creative space a year ago, I'm not now. So yeah. This is a reminder guys if you're going through something or if you feel like you know you're just not feeling like yourself it's okay to go through it but put all that energy into something like that you're working on it could be the gym it could be cooking it could be spending more time with yourself or be nicer to yourself like just put that energy your negative energy into something positive like don't sit there and dwell on something you can't change because what i was sad over obviously everyone's different but me personally what i was sad over is some is stuff that's not in my control like i was start, uh, sad over things that were not in my control and i the only thing i could do was you know grow through what i i'm going through so that's exactly what i did and i just had the best people around me to help me with that Sorry guys, I'm really blending it well today. Just cause I hate it when there's like streaks. And I was just like distracted speaking to you guys. But yes, um, I've also put on my Instagram for you guys to ask me a few questions. So I'm gonna answer them whilst I'm doing my makeup. So I'm gonna answer a few of your questions. So I've literally done my base and my foundation. And now we are gonna go in with some Laura Mercier translucent powder love this and so i'm gonna actually try these for the first time also heard so many good things about these little i don't know what to call them like powder powder brush Prow powder i don't know what to call these powder i don't know it's for your face and powder and i heard the same person talk about these so i'm just gonna try it for myself and see how i get along with it i've never actually used this one before so i actually might hate it and not want to use it again so we'll let you know Ooh, i do like the way it applies on i'm not gonna lie wow wow i really do like this I got told these were a game changer as well. And they actually might be. <gasps> wow, I love, 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 love. I also ordered this from Amazon. I will link it below. The height is worth, I think that you can wash these as well. I got a pack of literally like 20, so I don't think I'm gonna be like rewashing all of them. And I feel like, wow wow and i feel like yeah um i probably won't rewash them but apparently you can i really do like that it's really good to just put in your bag as well for when you're out and you just want to touch up your powder wow 
I really did love that. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed it a lot. I'm not going to lie. Guys, you know when you try something for the first time and you're like, wow, that's exactly how I feel about this. Like, I absolutely loved it. Like, it's a game changer. Honestly, a game changer. So, should we answer some questions? Okay, first question. How many siblings do you have and do you all have the same mum and dad? So, I get this question quite a lot. And I've realised that I always answer this, but no one ever seems to remember. But it's fine because I wouldn't expect you guys to remember my siblings and stuff. So, I actually have four sisters and two brothers. Me and Sasha, which I, I'm pretty sure you guys would have known or seen her on here before my social media. Me and Sasha have the same mum and dad. And then the rest of my siblings, we all have the same dad but different mums but then some of my sisters within that have the same mum and dad if that makes sense so yeah i have one full sister sasha who has the same mum and dad as me and my other sisters my three other sisters and my two other brothers have just the same dad as me so it'll go joyce jamila lily sasha me wesley kayo yeah those are my siblings for anyone that wanted to know i'm second oldest i'm the second oldest and the oldest on my mom's side that is me so next for bronzer i'm going in with this charlotte tilbury bronzer and this is in this is the, it literally just says 4d on the back i love this i kind of use this as a contour as well just because it's quite um it's quite dark so I actually tend to use this focus this is quite dark so I tend to use this as a contour mainly because I'm not doing it's actually quite like it goes this is actually very pigmented this bronzer I absolutely love this bronzer I'm not gonna lie I always tap the powder on my hand first just because I hate it when it goes all over my face I like to build it up because if I put it on my face and it's just harsh straight away, it just looks like it's just too dark for me, you know what I mean? So I tend to always like do that. I'm just going to do my contour and then answer some more questions because I can't actually multitask, it's really bad. Where is my phone? Where is my phone? How is it having a business and you regret it so far? So having a business is the most stressful thing you can think of but it's also really i mean fun and it feels really nice to know that you are your own boss and the things you think of you can bring to life like i love that bit i love the creative side of things i hate the technical stuff i hate the you know there's that like developing your website i hate like the shoots are fun like everything it, you have your ups and downs of business but i love it i think I've learned so much about myself. I can't wait to see my business grow. It makes me look forward, like it gives me something to look forward to as well for the near future because I have so many plans for my business, like so, so many. So I do really enjoy it, but it is stressful. But I just feel like any business would be stressful if that makes sense. So yeah, I am, I am enjoying it. I am and I can't wait to see it grow. I really can't. Okay, another question. Let's do another question. I really love your relationship with Joss. How did you guys meet? I love mine and Joss's relationship. Joss is that sister that I would find. Like, God knew I would find Joss in this lifetime. Like, 100%. Um, I met Joss through another friend. And we literally just clicked straight away. Like, me and Joss just clicked. Like, there was nothing about Joss that made me question her ever. Um, the first time I actually met her, she was really quiet, though. But, like... I, that's just her personality, you know what I mean? And now we're just like inseparable. Like I love Joss. Like Joss is in my life to stay forever. I love our fr friendship. I love our sisterhood. 
Joss is like that friend that I will go to about everything. Like, she's the one person, when I get good news, I want to tell her straight away. Like, you know when you just have a friend that you just know keeps it real on their side. When you have a friend that you just know there's no jealousy. Especially like friends nowadays when you meet new people. Like, people always say like, no new friends, no new friends. And Joss is just literally my soulmate. Like, I love her. Like, she she's the best like she's actually the best you're gonna see her a lot on this channel because we actually tend to go on holiday a lot like that's funny like a travel buddy but yes i absolutely love joss i love our friendship yeah it's just if i pray that every girl in this world has a friendship like mine and joss's or if you haven't found your person yet like i pray you do because it's so important like they just keep you saying like joss stops me from doing a lot of stuff like a lot of like bad decisions that I would want to make like you know what I mean so you need that like I absolutely love her and I love that you guys love our friendship because I get it a lot like I get a lot of people say oh my god I love your yours and Joss's friendship like I can't wait to have that and honestly I can't wait for you guys to have that as well if you don't already because I know a lot of girls you guys have your main girl and that is key sorry guys my batch my battery actually ended up dying so I've had to like recharge it and all of that, but I'm back now. But yes, I'm gonna keep continuing to answer some of your questions. Um, if it's too um, bright, then I'm really sorry because it's the light. The light is quite bright. But I'm gonna keep going. I got up to my contour, so I'm gonna go in with bronzer and answer more questions for you guys. So um, for bronzer, I love this Tarte Cosmetics palette. I've had it for so long. And it comes with like different shades that you can use. As you can see, I've been using the top one a lot religiously. So I go in with this with a brush that I absolutely love. If I can find it. And I love it so much. Like so much. I'm going to answer a few more questions as well. Next question. Are you single? Yes. I am single 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 if there was single in the dictionary it would have a picture of me right next to the word single i'm literally the singlest i've ever been not texting anyone not speaking to anyone just really enjoying time with friends really going out traveling and i'm okay with that before i used to be like oh, i want a boyfriend and now I just feel like what's for me won't miss me. And I'm enjoying my own time and my own company. And like just doing life alone really. Like I'm kind of enjoying it. And I feel like once you fall in love with your own company. you Like you're good. Like you know what I mean. Like because I love my own company. I just obviously when it's like Valentine's Day. And like this year. Like last year. When it gets like Valentine's Day you get lonely. And you're like a minute and i want a boyfriend and it's okay like what's for me won't miss me and i'm enjoying it like i i genuinely am enjoying it and yeah that is me i'm extremely single <laughs> and it's okay if you're single join the crew i feel like being single isn't even a bad thing anymore at all like to be fair we're gonna go in with the blush um i've been loving this blush i actually recently found it within my makeup it's from sleek i either use this one or the refi one but today i'm gonna use this one love it love it love it love it i just like how it's pigmented it's very like pigmented let me show you the color it's really like it's night like a really nice dark pink um look how cool this makeup brush is like all these bits that fall down if it's gonna do it today can you see that so one of them brushes I love this I never apply too much because it's really it's really pigmented oh applied too much wow my cheeks are super rosy right now Let me go in with a buffing brush. Ooh. I've really enjoyed doing my makeup today on camera. Like, I feel like I've done better than I expected, to be fair. And my makeup is nothing crazy. I just hope that the lighting's good for when... Oh, let me just leave it like that. For when I actually go to edit this video. 
where do you see yourself in five years? So in five years, I see myself being a homeowner. I see my brand global. I see my brand like has it's already done billboards. I see my brand at the highest it's ever been in five years. Homeowner, I feel like I would have lived in LA for a bit by then because I really plan to go to live in LA for like three months. I just feel like I'm young and I'm one day I'm gonna have to like settle down and like have a family and focus on like raising my kids and stuff like that. And I feel like I really want to experience living in a different place for a bit. So I've been planning for the last year to go and stay in LA for like three, four months three months because obviously my S star but I want to really stay out there for like a couple months and just experience life somewhere else and I just love LA if you know me you know I absolutely love LA any given opportunity I can go I'm gonna go to LA I was just in New York just now and um I had a great time but I still love LA like LA's got my heart like I just love LA I just spent a month in LA in November came back just before Christmas with my friends and it was the best time ever i just feel like when you're young you're not a tree trunk you're meant to like travel and live your life and experience life from different perspectives of course you know what i mean like if you can but if you ever get the opportunity to live somewhere else i feel like you should take it because life really be lifing and sometimes like life the unexpected thing happens like let's say i have a baby next year don't really see that happening like my dreams to go and live out in LA for three months kind of change because you know I've got priorities I am about to give birth so yeah I wouldn't be able to do that so I defo do recommend just being able to travel and live your best life as when you can like when you can you don't get your younger days back ever kin with the powder guys and just powder under my bronzer and blusher with the same powder applier Do that a bit like this. Let that sit there. I had the best Fenty highlighter ever, and I've lost it, guys. I've actually lost it, and I'm so sad about it. I'm literally so sad. Use something else instead. Okay, so we're going to go in with this Marvin Beauty highlighter, and this is in draped up. It's a really shimmery one. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty highlight brush. Just these days, I don't like too much highlighter on my face. Like I, I'm like minimal type for highlighter. Not too much. I'm gonna go in with this Becca setting spray. Woo! Trick me up. Yeah. And then, last but not least, we are gonna do lip liner. So, recently, I have been using this Rimmel lip liner, which I love. I, it's, I always, it's either always between this one or the Morphe one. And this one is in Cappuccino. Order these off Amazon as well because I just never find them in store. And it's literally like £2 on Amazon as well. Before I do my lip gloss, let me answer another question. Dream location. So, of course, I would love to go to the Maldives, Bora Bora. Um, really want to travel around Asia, but like one of my dream places to go that I wouldn't actually think of going anytime soon is the himalaya mountains i really want to go to the himalaya mountains but like on the like reach like a retreat so i want to go to the himalaya mountains on a retreat and like meditate with the monks like do so much meditation so much yoga i really feel like i would enjoy that so yeah that is like on my goal list like the top list i would love to go there and i just feel like i would zen i would just be so chilled and so calm and so relaxed that i just think i wouldn't absolutely enjoy it but um yes the himalaya mountains is one of my destinations that i would dream to go to like literally dream and i would go by myself as well so yeah i'm gonna i plan to do that when i'm like 27 i just feel like just before i turn 30 i will go to the himalaya mountains and meditate with the monks and 
chill and have a zen 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 for lipstick i'm going to use the kylie jenner but this is like with the chris jenner collab and this is in the shade give me a kiss and i always just add a bit in between my lips not too much and in the nude lip gloss my friend has a brand that she sells lip glosses and they're actually absolutely amazing i love them she sent me these and it just gives it like a whitey tone for the base and it's just the perfect nude up is done like the makeup is done i'm just gonna have my hair like straightened and like curl it And that is my everyday casual makeup. I curled my hair two days ago. Well, I didn't curl it. I like kind of like curled it inward so it would give it like a bouncy blow dry effect. And it's still looking great. Just have to fix my middle part in and we're all good to go. But let me answer one more question before I love and leave you guys. Um, let's answer a juicy question. So, have you ever been heartbroken and how do you get over heartbreak? I love conversations about heartbreak because I feel like I'm the best person to give advice for this. Even though I don't take my own advice, all my friends are going through it. They always kind of call me when they're going through it. And actually, I love that, like that my friends feel like they can speak to me, even though I would not take my own advice. But I literally say, like, it's going to hurt, like, cry about it, be sad about it. But understand that what's for you won't miss you and if it's meant to be it'll happen you know what i mean and there's no point crying over something like you can't change if your heart's been broken like it's the most painful thing ever and it's like sometimes you feel like it's never gonna get better it's each day's worse it just gets worse and worse but time actually heals everything and be kind to yourself like allow yourself to be sad of course but just be kind to yourself understand that how you feel today you're not going to feel in six months time you know what i mean and some heartbreaks take longer than others and you know it's the process of life like what you go through will make you but i always just literally my my favorite quote of life is nothing actually matters so you get to pick what does like nothing in this world matters like you actually get to pick what matters so if someone's like cheated on you and that's causing you heartbreak like it's their loss it's not yours it's theirs and you will literally come out of it looking feeling like the strongest person like when every time something sets you down sets you back like not even heartbreak just anything in life you leave from that sit from that situation stronger than before so you're actually in a win-win situation really it's so painful but i always just say like spend time with your friends do fun things get your mind off things but some days are e easier than others but you're allowed to be sad like that's the most important thing you're allowed to be sad you're allowed to cry about it talk about it forever and your friends are always going to be supportive and be there for you but just remember that stop giving like temporary feelings so much weight like I, my friends post that one day and it was just like the best thing i'd seen um and I, it's just stuck with me like stop giving temporary feelings like if you feel sad today and you let it affect your whole day it's like you've let a temporary feeling so hold so much weight on your life and eventually you're gonna have to let it go but just spend time with your friends do fun things get your mind off things but each day it does get easier like time really does heal it all and you are stronger than you think like you are absolutely stronger than you think and no matter what in this life whatever is for you will not miss you so if you're meant to get back with that person it will happen god's timing is the best timing like honestly guys literally stop giving temporary feelings so much weight you've got this but that is the end of this chit chat get ready with me hope you guys enjoyed it i'm so happy to be back on youtube i'm here to stay like i mentioned before i think i'm gonna start uploading three minimum two videos a week but i kind of want to upload three day three, three videos a week my next vlog is either going to be my apartment tour or a fashion vlog i've been meaning to do one for some time and i've literally just recently got a whole load of clothes from cuckoo the brand i don't know if you guys have heard of it 
quality is insane to die for so i'll probably do a get ready with me and show you guys some of the pieces but guys i am gone i need to get some content done for instagram and gonna edit this vlog have it up by tomorrow but i'm so happy to be back um and i'm excited but yeah makeup all done i like i mentioned i'm not an M mua like my makeup is very basic if you ask me let me turn off this light to see if it looks better when you guys see me no we need the light on because it's too dark but yes makeup is done i love you guys can't wait to be back but yes 